first blood matches have gone the way of the dodo. I understand why, <laughs> but that was a great way to build anticipation. I was wondering if there was a time where the wrong guy started bleeding first. If that has happened, do you change the finish, or does the referee conveniently look the other way while the wrestlers figure something out? Um. Well, most of the first blood matches that I saw in years go by, you know, the guys knew what they were. They weren't just out there flailing at each other and, and accidentally busting each other open hard way, especially in a first blood match. I mean, you know, it technically can happen, but it, but it, the best an- antidote, as they say, the best first blood match antidote that I have, it was we tried to have one in Ring of Honor with Kevin Steen and somebody. And I'm not doing this to not Kevin, but this is just one of the just many reasons why, to me, it was just a pain in the ass to deal with the, the, the fellow. He sent me and Delirious an email saying, well, he has a skin condition that every once in a while his underarm may bleed at random. Just wanted to let us, I'm like, what the f- What? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just telling you. Anyway, um, and, and actually, Tennessee wrestling back in the old days kicked it up a notch because they would have hospital elimination matches where like if it was a tag match or a six man tag, two or three guys on each side to you to be eliminated from the match, you had to bleed. And the last team with remaining winners was the winning team. So one in Memphis one night, they brought in Rough House Fargo and team with the Fabs and Lawler. And they had a 10-man hospital elimination match. And I think Jesse Ventura was in there, Austin Idol. I can't remember whether he uh, actually was eliminated or not. But but it was a, it was a big deal. Yes, it, people want to see that shit. So there is a... Uh, there's certainly a market for it. And uh, if it's done the right way with people who know what they're doing, um, I, I'm, I'm firmly in favor of them. Everybody's like, oh, God, we can't have blood in wrestling anymore. No, the last thing we want was, is uh, with our violence is blood. Good Lord. You would almost have to go the other way. Back then, people would say, oh, the blood is fake. And you'd have to say, no, the blood is real. Now the blood, if you blade it, you'd have to say, no, no, it's fake. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. It's no, that's, that's, how, that's how fucked up and backwards the wrestling business has become, that now we would actually have to deny that the blood was real and say it was fake in order to, to, for people not to be upset. For fuck's sake. 